Hey there, peeps! It's me again, and I'm back for another exclusive interview. This time, our special guest is no other than Mark Boswell, the CEO of Global Gaming that I owe. So, Mark, thank you very much for your time here with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jeff, for having me. All right. So, um, first things first, Mark, could you share more about yourself to our amazing subscribers right here on YouTube? You know, I started this project with our family and my son approximately two and a half, three years ago. We worked with an original group out of California. And after seeing that they couldn't stay focused long enough, to be honest, we love the concept of gaming. It's so big, whether it's on mobile phone devices or PCs. And so what we decided was to take the idea that we started with, it was our idea, run with it. And now at this stage now, we have gotten ourselves in a great position. We're holding beta tournaments here next week. You can sign up for those. We have our own cryptocurrency coin that we're going to use as prize money. So we have a variety of things that we're going to do that's going to be a little bit different than what's out there already. And um, it's, been a, it's been a long, good process, learning experiences. And so we're really excited for the gaming community and uh, to get their feedback on what they think. Okay, so thank you very much, Mark, for that a wonderful introduction. Now, could you share to us, Mark, about the mission and a vision of Global Gaming? Yes. Okay, so when we, we first got this thing started as a vision, our whole goal was to make this experience for all gamers, whether you're an amateur or you're professional or anybody in between whether you're in the United States or Mexico or South America or Asia or Europe or whomever, wherever you may be, we wanted this experience to be rewarding and that you got off the program and got off the platform after you had a match or two or three or four or whatever it might be. And you said, you know what? They put together a good tournament. They had great customer support. They had great security. Obviously the games we're familiar with. I like their structure. I like how they got on top of things and were able to resolve it. And more importantly, as we have as we have our coin as a prize money that they can cash in on several exchanges, and we plan to expand how many more exchanges our coin will be on, this gives people options. People love options. And so we're going to base a lot of like in the future, membership fees, uh, sponsorship, things of that nature, we're not only going to be able to take the USDT, the, the dollar, or a credit card, or our coin, but we're going, to, we're going to add several Ethereum ERC-20-based coins as a, as a method of payment. So, for example, you might have a gamer out there in wherever that may be, and maybe he's got two or three or four different coins that he's bought over the, over the course of, say, you know, the last year or two or whatever it might be. And he says, you know, I could, I could use my, one of my coins to take and buy my membership for the month or two months or whatever. So he applies it, puts it into the system and allows, again, more convenience, more options for the gamer to play in our tournaments. But we want a lot of participation. And the big thing that we're going to separate ourselves, I feel is a big separation, is we're going to have a system in place that's going to rank all of the gamers. So in other words, you don't have a professional playing against a newbie all day, every day, and wonder, well, the professional's always winning. That doesn't seem fair. No, it's not fair. So we want to make sure that the professional is playing against the professional, the amateur is playing against the amateur, and everybody in between. That way it's more competitive, it's, it's more fair, and everybody gets a shot at the prize money, and there will be a pool of prize money, uh, again, based upon either our coin or sponsorship monies that we may obtain, or membership fees, or a combination of several. All right. So that's a very interesting mission and vision that you have for global gaming. So I hope that all of you right here who are watching our exclusive interview are learning about it. So let's just hope that with your strong mission and vision for global gaming, you guys could make a huge difference in both the crypto and the gaming industry. So, uh, Mark, thank you very much for that. Okay.
So about this next question of mine, this is really important for all of you who are watching us right now, because I know most of you here have no idea or a little bit of idea or something that you didn't understand yet about this project, especially for gaming. It's all about the entire ecosystem of global gaming that I owe, especially on how it really works for both crypto and gaming enthusiasts around the world. Now, Mark... If you don't mind, could you share to us how global gaming's ecosystem could really work for us, especially your competitive advantages and the benefits for users like me? Okay, so our system is going to be set up to where on a day-to-day, -day, and we'll have plenty of that on our website, announcements on tournaments, future tournaments, so on and so on, and how they're going to be structured. But we really want, we really think the ranking system be able to rank all of these guys, all of the players, be able to rank them in a system to where it's fair for everybody that sets us apart because you don't want the same people winning all the time. On the same time, if we bring value for the guys that are not only gamers, but I would say investors, for lack of better words, if they're looking at our coin going, well, gosh, if we end up, if these guys end up taking their cryptocurrency coin, they make it the prize money or they could use it as an NFT or buy an NFT, or I've got coins in my wallet right now, my digital wallet that are ERC backed, as we all know what ERC is, that are backed. I could actually maybe buy an NFT. I might be able to buy merchandise. I can get my, I'm, we're trying to make this so broad, so convenient and with lots of ease so that all the gamers are able to use what they have at their disposal, mobile phones, PCs, and whatever technology they may use. We ultimately have a couple of things that we want to work on because this will be asked later on down the road, I think, is where is this industry going and what are the next big steps? Um, we have also, also worked on, as you guys know, um, some of the things that are big and, and they've already kind of started is virtual reality. That to me is such a huge and exciting field because then you become feel like you're part of the game itself. And I think people love how things have gotten so, uh, you know, the pixels when you have a 4K versus 8K and, you know, people's TVs are just become more clear and clear in computers and they hold so much more data. Well, from our standpoint, that's great. I love all that. But I think if If, as we start to go down the road of technology where it's going to be five and 10 and 15 years from now, I would like to think that our platform, our company is truly one of the first ones to take virtual reality to the ultimate next step. So I think in, in that stance, we want to be encompassing to a lot of people throughout the world. We want to have the ease of getting into our game, registering, knowing that the prize money, by the way, are not paid out 90 or 120 days from now, but a lot of systems are, that the payout is actually within about 48 to 72 hours. So the time, from the time a match is over to the time that the prize money is distributed, is we're, we're working on it, but it should be about 72 hours, if not sooner. So those are some of the things that we think our systems, our platform, our strategy, and who we're trying to go after which is, again, we're not going to get two and a half billion gamers tomorrow. But there's a lot of room out there, a lot of space for good platforms that I think are going to be appealing. It's one thing to have a platform. It's another thing to have a platform with a purpose behind it so that all gamers, and especially amateurs, because the pros are the pros, but especially the amateurs and a lot of amateurs out there, they feel like they're part of something that they can contribute to. And again, we want to have all that ability for all the gamers to come back and leave blogs, leave little messages, say, hey guys, I noticed this. Is there any way we can do this or we can do that? The community will speak if you allow them to do it. And we have every intention to have a good customer, very good customer service and a good blogging system that we can have people all shapes and sizes and everything, Jeff, that they can go and reach out to us and tell us, you know, I love this. Could we even do this? 
because the world's full of ideas. We won't, know, we won't always have them all ourselves personally, but if, as long as we know that the gamers that we're working with on a day-to-day -day basis or month-to-month -month basis, they're willing to share those ideas. So we want to be a part of what they're trying to do as well. All right. So I hope that those of you who are watching our exclusive interview right now have finally understood about the ecosystem of global gaming, especially its real and positive use cases for crypto and gaming enthusiasts. You know, Mark, I'm very impressed with the concept of global gaming so far that you've explained earlier. So it's something that most of the people around the world who are into crypto and gaming really need to check this out. So anyway, Mark, I appreciate the way you've shared this to us. So thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So um, let's proceed with the next question. Could you share to us about the recent achievements that you have for global gaming, especially the uh, recent partnerships that you have, if you don't mind, Mark? Yes, Jeff. We Right now, we're in the process, and some of the partnerships have asked us because of uh, non-disclosure not to you know, say much about them, but I can tell you that there are large companies that want to be associated with, obviously, the gaming world. You know, when advertisers and sponsorships look at anything, anything on the internet, they look at eyeballs. How many people are actually looking at what you are looking at on the computer? And if you notice, sometimes you might be going on the internet and you're looking about, you know, looking about something about shoes or, you know, some article here, article there, and all of a sudden something will pop up and you think, well, what does that have to do with this? Or what is that, you know, Google and, and Twitter, all of them, they, they keep track of the information that you look for, right? So sponsors see that. And what they're very interested in is what kind of, and how many eyeballs are looking at these tournaments every day? They know gaming's big. They come back to us and say, but how big is your deal? How many people do you have? And so we are in the process as we speak. We are partnering with a group out of California. Again, I, I can't disclose who, but it's a partnership out of there that they are actually working with a casino online gaming site, not related to what we do. And they have a million plus players every day. They love this concept. So the, the idea is we're going to partner with them here in the next, this is August 1st, so we're hoping by September 1 or September 15th to finalize that and to have X amount of their, we're thinking in the first 90 days to have at least 300,000 members signed up from their, from their site. So we'd have about a third to start with. Ultimately, we want to be able to get down to the point where it gets maybe possibly all of them. Now, I don't know if that's possible, Jeff, but that's our goal. But the first 90 days, we think we can get two to 300,000. Once you reach 50,000, companies like Google and the rest of them take notice. And they do. And now all of a sudden, it's a whole different realm of the possibilities for sponsorships partnerships because now they got they know that global gaming has got 50 70 80 100 200,000 eyeballs people playing their game our games our tournaments so all of a sudden they're saying well we want to be in front of those people what is it going to take so we've already had some discussion on that as well so hopefully that sheds some light on the the, the sponsorship and partnerships of, of global gaming Okay, at least you've shared to us about the recent achievements and uh, possible partnerships that you have, Mark. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so about the next question, it's all about the games that you have supported. As as you can see right here, you know, I'm, I'm on your website right now. So you have like nine games right now on the list that, uh, that are supported by Global Gaming. And, um, you know, I had to admit that... Um, one of my favorite games was the League of Legends because here in the Philippines, League of Legends is, uh, you know, it's a very hot game as well as Dota 2, Valorant, and um, Fortnite, and also uh, Overwatch. Now, Mark, uh, my my question for you is, um, do you um do you support in in the near future, you know, um, you know, mobile games such as Mobile Legends or any other? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, Jeff. See. The reason we only put nine games on there, we just picked nine games for the beta tournaments. 
We wanted people to take a look at those games, play them, like I said, 1v1, 2v2, whatever it is, and then give us feedback on how the platform performs. That was our big deal. Show us, tell us what if there's any kinks in the system. Is there a glitch? Is there too slow? Is there this? We're going to be streaming all these games. So let's make sure before we put on 500 games or 1,000 games or whatever, let's make sure that we'll just take nine, 10 games, go, start with that, and then tell us what we need to improve on, which probably won't be, hopefully, knock on wood, as they say, not much, but whatever we need to do, we'll correct. It shouldn't take very long, maybe a day or two. Correct it, redo it again, make sure it's done right. Then we're going to come back, Jeff, and we're going to end up having a mobile, I mean, all of that, absolutely all at one time. It's going to be a huge rollout. Okay, so that's great to hear, Mark. And also another follow-up question. Um, you know that play-to-earn uh, blockchain NFT games are hot right now, like um, Axie Infinity and, uh, you know, the other ones out there. I, I know I know you are aware of those games as well. So yeah. do you think that these blockchain NFT games will also be featured here on Global Gaming too? A absolutely. Um, there is not going – whatever – game as possible whatever platform that we can hold we've actually had now we've had our third call with three different games that actually want to use our platform then they, they have a list of players they want to use our platform and they haven't even done the beta term they just like the way the whole system works play, lays out and use our platform as their gaming platform for their game brand new games and it's like that's interesting Let's see. Let's first see how our community likes the platform we design now. And so I'm, I'm so excited about where we've been, where we are, and the endless possibilities in the near future. I, I, I wish, like I said, I could be more specific on the partnerships and the platforms of other games that want to be on. I can just assure you that that is going to happen. All right, so this is um, you know, this is great news for those of you who are watching this video right now, especially if you are playing so many NFT blockchain games like yes. Axie Infinity, Crypto Blades, My DeFi Pad, and so on. Um, thanks, Mark, for sharing this to us. Okay, so we're looking forward and we're excited for this one, especially the Philippines community. You know, there are so many gamers, there are crazy gamers in the Philippines right now, especially when it comes to tournaments, and I honestly believe that uh, global gaming could be um could be perfect for them you know mark <laughs> absolutely you know here's the thing and i want to emphasize this jeff not only to to anybody in the philippines europe asia americas latin america south america wherever it might be canada i would tell you our our whole goal we can't be everything to everybody but we are truly going to be as many things as we can to everybody and if we can do that, and we put this time and effort as a, I say collectively, collectively, the community and us at Global Gaming, if we can put this together, I think it's, it's, there's endless possibilities, and I think everyone will come out as a winner. All right, so thank you very much for that, Mark. We're going to look forward to that, all right? Now, you let's bet. move on to the next question. You know, aside from the uh, achievements and partnerships that you have mentioned earlier, I know that you have encountered some challenges as well, Mark. Okay. Now, could you share to us about the uh, challenges that you are facing right now and how do you cope up with these challenges? Okay. So when you start a business, I will, I will tell you this. It's make sure you're always around the best people possible. If you can't trust them with your wallet, then don't be in business with them. Number two, make sure you do your homework. And what I mean by that is a lot of people think, oh, well, gaming, everybody's doing it, so it must be, it must be easy or it must be uh, this or that. You know, do the homework, find a niche, find that what people aren't doing out there and fill it. If that's something that you think the community may want. I think so many times, and then of course, it takes money. And so whomever you end up getting in business with or going business for, with, 
what, however it is structured, make sure that those challenges that you're going to be faced, because you will, everybody faces them. Sometimes whatever you hear is like, if it's easy, everyone would be doing it. It's not easy. Okay. And here's a helpful hint for the people that want to start something like this. Okay. I will tell you this, whatever this one wise guy, a friend of mine years ago, he said, whatever time, effort, or money you think it is, take it times three. And now you're close to what it will take to get it there. So if you think it's going to take you six months or a year or two, figure three. If you think it's going to cost you 50000 call it 150000 That way you go into it already with some background of saying, you know what, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I set my goals at a certain pace. And believe you me, there'll be plenty of people within even your own family and friends that will say, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't do this. Or you can't do that. Oh, somebody's already, I heard somebody already did that. Or I heard, I heard. Really? Tell me who. You, if you have the drive, you have the passion, and you have the intelligence that it takes to be successful, there is nothing that's going to stop you. Wow. I mean, that's uh, really inspiring on how you cope up with those challenges uh, to make global gaming grow even more. So uh, yeah. let's just hope that you and your team, Mark, would uh, remain consistent no matter if those challenges are difficult. You know, we've been into many storms in our lives and escaping them isn't the solution for us to become successful, but uh, rather go through it until you finally overcome it. And that's what you guys have been doing this day. So once again, Mark, thank you so much for sharing that to us. All right. So let's, all right. So let's move on to the next question. Now, this is something that most of the crypto blockchain and gaming enthusiasts are looking forward to these days especially global gaming. So the ones that I'm talking about are the projects, future plans, exciting updates, and a little bit of spoiler for the community. So all right, Mark, if you don't mind, could you share to us some of the exciting updates, future plans, and a bit of spoilers for our amazing subscribers and viewers who are tuning to us right here on YouTube? You know what I would tell everybody, as I've kind of already alluded to earlier, is some of the things we want to do is we eventually want to get to virtual reality, which we have started to somewhat work on that. And that's a challenge. That to me, I think is that new frontier for lack of better words. And it's not really new, but it's new at the level to where not everyone's doing it. I want people to be able to go onto our site. If they're in the middle of a lunch break somewhere in New York city or, or Manila or wherever it might be, and they're going to play a little game that they love our platform so much. And they go on there and they, and they join and tell their friends. And we're going, to have, we're going to have contests in the future. We're going to have membership drives and incentives. We are going to have a, a, you know, shirts and everything else, merchandise, NFT. We're going to have so much not to overload the gamer, not to overload the technology wizard that sits somewhere in Estonia, maybe. But <clears throat> things that I really want to get feedback, because I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that would love to be in the, in the whole gaming world, would love to start something, but have no clue and don't even know where to even begin or where to start or where to happen. So what they do is they say, you know what? I love these guys. I want to, and I want them to feel like they're part of this, that we're all in this together. And that we can keep making this thing as exciting and fresh as the day we started. And I want to be able to say that a year from now, five years from now, 15 years from now, or whatever it might be. Because I think there's so much more in this capacity. Um, we always make the joke here that we, have, we know people that have their sons and daughters that are in their basement that are you know, young teenagers or young adults that are playing these games for money and they're making more money than their parents, Jeff. And we kind of laugh about that. And we would have thought, who, who would ever thought that? And so you look at visionaries, you look at what people are doing out there. You look at 
you look at the Elon Musk and you look at some of those other people out there that are, you know, uh, putting rocket ships into space, whatnot, and people would have said, well, who, who had that vision? It's usually the owner. But sometimes, and a lot of times, he might be getting or she might be getting the ideas or concepts from other people, and they're just putting them all together. So that's what we want to do is we want to keep evolving. We want to keep being that platform that ultimately – we're not gonna we're not gonna have everybody playing our, our platform. We just want we just want to know that people come to us as the best other solution as well. We want to be that other platform that's so good that people go, you know what? I know I can play on that platform anytime, any day. I love their customer support. I love the security behind it. I love what they're doing. Oh, and they just got this new game out. We got five tournaments next week. I can't wait to play. And they get their friends and they play each other. That's what I want to be. I want to be the first platform that rolls off someone's tongue when they want to play a game. Now, that's very nice to hear from you, Mark, about the exciting updates, future plans, and other stuff that would make the global gaming community excited even more. So I'm really looking forward to these exciting updates that would mean a bright future ahead for global gaming so it's going to be great. So, Mark, thank you so much for sharing this to me and to our amazing viewers right here. So let's move forward to my final question for this exclusive interview right now. Okay, Mark, so assuming that our viewers here who are tuning us today are encountering global gaming for the first time, especially if they are amateur or pro gamers. So here's the thing. Mark, could you give us some reasons why we should be grabbing the opportunity to check out global gaming right now rather than later? Like, what is it for us if we're going to check them out today? Or what could we miss if we are not, I mean, on board with this right now? Okay. So I would tell you this, Jeff, as I mentioned earlier in our interview, there's two things that I think are widely, widely important that are not really being uh, addressed in this industry. A ranking system, that's, I think to me, oh, automation, of course, but the, the, the ranking system to rank these players according to their skills. And I tell you why I think that's so important. I think in, in this world, we, we find ourselves, no matter where you're from, you have you know, certain people that, could, that, that play at a certain level for whatever reason. And then, because they, they, they play more, they just understand the game. Or, you know, I don't care where you're from. There's just, there's certain people out there that you can roll a ball to them or you can give them a book or you can do whatever. And they just get it. They just understand it. So maybe they're more advanced to start. But I'm telling you, at the end of the day, when we give people the option, like I said, an ERC 20 base coins that are going to be a whole list of those to be able to pay for memberships. That's not common. That's unique. The ranking system, unique. The whole, the whole idea of automation and placing all that together on top of having several tournaments a day, week, month, which there's a lot of them to do that. It's going to be unique because we still, at the end of the day, want to be able to provide a service with good customer service, which we're going to handle that. We've already got the, the company to do that. The security behind that. We're going to be able to take so many different methods of payment, all secure. We're going to be here 24-7, 365 days out of the year. We want to make sure that everybody walks out of these games. I didn't win, but it was a good experience. It was so close. I can't wait to play the next game. When you know you got gamers saying that to you, you know you struck a chord. <clears throat> and more importantly, they're coming back to you because they like the experience. I don't care where you are in life and I don't care what store you go to or what industry you're in or whatever. If you have pleased the customer, the community, that they want to keep coming back, then you've done something right. I want, these, I want all of these players and gamers and communities, I want them to tell, us, tell each other about this. I want this to be the spread of the word. I want people to say, you, you got to get on this, guys. You got to get on this site. 
It's awesome. They have a, they have a ranking system. They got it all. The customer service, the automation, they have it all. And you can pay in so many different ways. You give people options. And when they have options, then it's up to them to say, well, this is the best for me, or this is the best for me, or this is the best for me. It isn't just a one size fits all. It doesn't work that way. So what I'm saying is give them the people what they want, give them the options, the how they pay and everything else. And I want them to say, you know what, guys, great job. I, I don't know that I can do anything differently, but great job. Love your platform. Love the website. Love the sponsors. Love the prize money. Love the speed at which we get paid. This, 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 and this. When we get to that point, and we're, we're here. When we get to that point, Jeff, I think that we're going to be okay. And I think the community is going to love us. And we're going to be excited about how we can even get it better. Every day, every week, every month. All right, so you've heard it from Mark today on why we should be checking out Global Gaming, okay? So hopefully um, he have answered all of the questions that I've asked him in our exclusive podcast. And no doubt that we've learned so much from him. So thank you very much for that, Mark. Okay, You're so welcome. before we wrap this up, uh, do you have any parting words for our, for our amazing subscribers and viewers who are tuning in to us right now? Okay, I would tell them all, and I don't know how many there are out there, but however many are listening, Jeff, I want you to keep in the back of your mind, put your little, get your iPhone out, your Android, whatever you use, and in your notes, you'll say Global Gaming Interview August 1st, 2021. That's going to be the start of how you're going to roll every day with your gaming friends and people are not gaming friends. So check us out, check out our coin our crypto coin, check out our platform, spread the word. I think you'll be so excited about where we're going to be today, tomorrow, and in the future. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for tonight, the CEO of GlobalGaming.io, Mr. Mark Boswell. So once again, Mark, thank you so much for your time here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And also, I would like to thank all of our subscribers and viewers here who are tuning in to us right here on our exclusive podcast interview with Mark Boswell. Okay. So I hope you guys have learned so much from this interview. So if you have any questions that were not yet answered right here in our podcast, I would invite you guys to leave down your comments right here on this video. And of course, if you liked what you're seeing right here on our exclusive podcast, kindly don't hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your crypto, blockchain, and gaming friends out there. And one more thing, peeps, I would like to invite you all to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified about my latest videos and interviews regarding cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology, decentralized finance, NFTs, and blockchain gaming. And you can also follow my social media channels right here or in my YouTube description. Okay, guys. So from my freaking home studio, this is Jeff, a.k.a. Nomad Fury, and I'm signing off. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah.